Uh, good evening, so I'm here with my Milbro FYN M16 in 2.2 cal and I've taken the carry handle off to fit a red dot so you see there's two long screws there and they, they go through the actual rail itself so what you've got here, you've got these two, this screw here and one at the front and they go through to hold the, hold the handle and the rail on and these two screws here, this actually holds the rail on now this rear one was really loose, yeah and the front one wasn't very tight but they do tighten up very very firmly so I've got them nice and tight now so you notice it's got a, a dual rail, so you've got 11 mil on top and 20 mil to the side. Very much like the hat sand, so you can fit both on. So this is a really cheap red dot, it's uh, about 18 quid from Amazon, I've had it a while. Seems to work alright, just like these little clicks adjust it, you know, the wind is elevation. So what I did, uh, semi rested, it was getting really dark and I rested at uh, 12 metres and I took five shots with these Aquapels FTs there, 14.66 grain. And I took, uh, yeah, I took five shots. That was the final shot. Like I said, it was getting really dark and I was getting quite a lot of glare off the red dot. Uh, but I put four shots there. The first four shots went basically inside a quarter of an, three quarters of an inch. So I'm really happy with that. So yeah, for a brake barrel, yeah, it's a bit hole sensitive, obviously, but it works very well. This rifle is very affordable. Yeah, it's about 100, 110 quid in the UK. The red dot's about 18 quid. And obviously all you need then is a tin of pellets because it's just a brake barrel, yeah? So yeah, it seems to work very well. Um, I might even try and put a scope on it because the red, thing about red dots, you are limited to about probably 15 metres, you know, and that's as it gets darker, they get they get a bit, uh, bit worse. So I hope you like the little video. Take care and thanks for watching.